Thank you, Dean. You're welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to download and install IntelliJ IDE, which we'll be using for our calling programming. Okay, it is very, very important we download this. So without wasting my time, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Okay. So first of all, ensure your system is connected to the internet. And you go to Google. Go to Google. You search for IntelliJ. 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 So let's go to IntelliJ download. We'll go to the first link we are given. You click on that and you wait for it to load. Okay, so here we are. This is the IntelliJ IDEA that will be downloading. The IntelliJ supports almost all, all platforms and it is very, very important to this. You get this, okay? So let's begin. We have Ultimate here. We have Community. You could see we have the platforms available here. So you could toggle through them. Okay, so we have Windows, we have Mac OS, and we have Linux. When you come here, automatically this site registers your platform. Okay, so because I'm on Windows, it automatically registers Windows for me. There are two types of the IntelliJ IDE. We have the ultimate and we have community. So ultimate is for web and enterprise development. Community community is for JVS, Java virtual machines and Android development. Okay. So the ultimate you will have to pay for it after trying it for 30 days. And with the community, it is free built on open source. We'll be downloading the community. But as I said earlier on, you have to select your platform accordingly. So if you're on Mac OS, you download the DMG for community, okay? DMG for community. If you're on Linux, you download uh, the community part, okay? Very, very important. Very, very important. So we're on Windows, let's select Windows. Then Windows, when you click on this, we have two types, okay? We have windows.esc, then .zip. We will download the .esc because that is easy to do it. So we click and we wait for it to load, okay? Click on the link and wait for it to load. You sorry? So you come here, you select from that .esc and you click on download. You click on download, it will automatically download. I've actually downloaded this already, so I will just quit it when it, it begins, okay? I will quit mine, it is beginning over here, so I'll just click on this guy, cancel it. Now click on that and cancel it. So you should be getting this. Thank you for downloading IntelliJ ID. If you wait for about 50, uh, 10 to 30 seconds and it is not starting downloading, it's either you check your network or you click on this link and you'll be given another option or another site or link for you to download. Now, after downloading, you go to your file explorer and you go to downloads, okay? You go to downloads. Then you search for the IntelliJ ID that you have downloaded recently. Okay, IntelliJ ID. Uh, okay. So it will be named IDEAL, that's ideal C 2021.2.3. You just have to click on that and you open it, or you can double click and open. Okay. So whichever way you choose, you are good to go. Wait for it to load and we'll begin with the installation. 
we begin with the installation. Okay, so verifying installer that is verifying it will be given option to continue with the download immediately. Waiting still, please. We are waiting for this. Okay. So I hope by now you should be having a black screen. It will come. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer? The moment I click on yes, I will come back live. Okay. So I will click on yes. If you see me live, then it means I've clicked on yes. Then we will follow the install wizard. Okay. So we just click on next. Then we will choose our location. The default location is okay. Okay it has it requires a space of 1.7 gig it is not easy so you just click on next then you say create intellij desktop then update pop variable with restart needed okay so you click on that then update open folder as project update context menu just check this guy codeline and let's start okay let's start so we have JetBrains, okay? Just click OK, and you wait for it to install. You wait for it to install. So I always want to know what is happening. I just click on this guy and see what is actually happening. So it is downloading and extracting a whole lot of files. We're hoping it won't take that long for us to get in here.
the IntelliJ is actually the developer of Kotlin. Kotlin, the language I will be using for this website, you know, app development. Okay, they are the brains behind Kotlin. It is very powerful. Android. We will announce it to be the language that will be used for Android app development in 2017. This Kotlin language was actually developed in 2011 by JetBrains company. So you could go online and read more about them, okay? To go online and read more about them. So Kotlin is a very great powerful uh, programming language which simplifies almost everything almost everything okay it simplifies almost everything of from java okay from java so a java code that will take you about one page Calling would even give you a half of that page for the same uh, code that was written in Java, for the same code that was written in Java. So if you are coming from a Java background, Calling is a very simplified language for you. And it is important that you understand this and take the opportunity, the opportunity granted you now okay so it says completing intellij ide community edition setup your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of intellij ide for me do you want to reboot now so no uh, you select or you check i want to manually reboot later or you can choose to reboot now because of this, I would just reboot it later. So I'll click on finish. And then here is it, IntelliJ ID. Let me bring it to the middle. Okay, so here is this. So that's it. After downloading, double click it and open it okay after installation double click and open it maybe your first opening you might find yourself wanting you might find yourself wanting it might take some few seconds the minutes for it to load just take that and wait for it to finish loading okay It's very, very beautiful. Look at the way it is packaged. <laughs> okay, so if you have, if you recently had IntelliJ on your system and you have something in it and you would want to merge it into this new one, then you have to go here, configure or installation directory. If not, the default is okay. Just click, just, just click on okay and you are good to go. We are waiting for it to download, please. For it to please let us wait for it, okay? It wouldn't take us that much time. So there we are. Welcome to IntelliJ IDEC. That's me. You know that the model alone is powered by IntelliJ. It seems like just a big call for uh, you know, the idea is going to be 
you can wait for it to load. Because it is our first time, it is going to take a whole lot of time by now. Subsequent opening, it wouldn't so that's great we wait for it to finish everything okay so first ensure that job object we have that added and select calling stroke jvm you remember when we were downloading yes then you click on next Connect for it to load. You wait for it, please. Okay, yeah, so there is a uh, there is um, a message here that no sdk specified no sdk and you could see the red destiny over here so first of all you just have to go uh, here here uh, we have jdk already so you go add and you should find this uh, program files and out that's good jet brains uh, oh. then Okay. Okay. Let me check Java over here. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the novel. Okay, so after clicking on new project, you will get this pin. Automatically, automatically, your your Kaza will be on. Uh, your Kaza will be on Java then when you make project sdk you will see that there is a notice over there as no sdk if yours was successfully registered automatically then you are good to go but in case it wasn't registered your jdk wasn't registered automatically then you will have to go through this and add it up Okay, so in that case, you scroll your 
Hazard to the end of that line. You get an arrow there, you click on that. You click on the arrow over there. You move down to add JDK. And the moment you click on that, you'll be given a new pane. You click on program files, which will definitely contain your JDK if you follow the process. Okay, so let's click on program files. Then you scroll down to Java. You click on Java. Then you have JDK over there. Whichever version of J that you have, it is fine. Just click OK from here and your JDK will be registered automatically. Okay, that's good. Now come back to your Java pane and you scroll down to Colin. You click on that and uh, you see the project SDK JDK now down here. If that's there, congratulations. Now you move on to something we call the build system over here. The build system. Now automatically you could say that you could see that Gradle plane has been selected. You don't need Gradle code. We we'll just select IntelliJ. After selecting that, you move up a bit and you go to Project Template. Autom automatically, application has been selected. On top of that, you could see JVM. We call it the Java Virtual Machine. So in that part, you select Console. Then you could move here just in the project template you could see that mobile application mobile library application library native application full stack web application then you could move down a bit uh full stack browser application react application not just application and the list goes on okay so this means after learning calling successfully you should be able to do all this and we give it to you for free at rose console we teach you and make sure you understand in depth whatever you have been taught that's our duty and that's what we are for that one being said, said, you are not to select anything at the multi-platform. You are not to select anything. Let me not forget, I invite you to join us on WhatsApp, our web dev bootcamp that we have. It is an online WhatsApp platform training that trains potential website developers and designers to become full stack web developers so i'll leave the link in the description below just click on it get to my dm and just say web dev and there you are we'll take it on from there okay now you move up a bit you have location leave that one then you move again you have name and give it a name of your choice i'm giving mine the name rose consult so after you type in the name you want to give your program and you click on finish you'll be giving the console mode the console mode, everything there, you leave it in the default or the default manner that you are given. Then you click on finish over there. After clicking on finish, you should see building. When it is done building, 
when it is done building, you see something like this over here. You should see something like this over here. I was actually in the process and doing one or two stuff, but I need to make this video for you. Okay, so I want to teach you one thing here. There are a whole lot of stuff over here, and uh, we can't go all of them in this video. We'll do them one after the other as we go through the lessons. But first of all, just navigate down, move to settings. Okay. Then you come to editor, sorry. You come to editor, okay? Type and this thing should be open. You move to editor. Then you go to font. You see our text is too small. So we just change the font to 30. That's it. Maybe I should make it 40 so that it becomes big enough. 40. You click on apply apply and you click on okay after you are done with that you come to your project you could toggle that from here okay on and off on and off okay that's we have rose consult we have idea you shouldn't have this out in red color here okay you shouldn't have it here i was running one or two stuff over here that's why you see this so for IDEA, you should get SLC. SLC is the source. Double click on that. You should get main. Double click on main. Get Kotlin. Double click on Kotlin and you get main.kt. You double click on it. Now you get here, you should be saying hello Explain the hello world to be sure everything is all right okay now after getting the hello world you will want to run it to be very sure everything is working successfully everything is working successfully okay you run it to be very sure everything is working successfully so you come here you run you click on run and you choose run main kt wait for building over here or build over here it will build and output in the console that you selected earlier on the console that you selected earlier on okay so let's move up and see okay so we have hello world this means our program is really good and everything is working perfectly. So if you could say hello world here, I say congratulations. Now let us go over this. That you are seeing here stands for function, okay? Function. The name of the function is called the main function. So what function do we have here? It's what main then ajrs stands for argument we are passing into what we call the array we say this is the, the argument that we want and we pass it to take it a value of string so if you don't in subsequent lessons so in coda i don't know in kotlin <laughs> in kotlin whatever that you would want to output Whatever program that you would want to write should be main function. Let me quit this guy so that we get enough view. So you see, after your bracket, the ending, you should have a calibration that being an S down here. So you see the case that is, blink is blinking currently. That's where it ends. After getting that and everything is working perfectly. You come to this guy you see print let me highlight the print part print then you have ln the ln stands for line okay ln stands for line so we use it to print to output statement or code inside of our uh kotlin programming language so print line will be you write print and ln 
standing for lie. Then you open it with what? Bracket. Mm? Bracket, where the bracket is. Then you input quotation marks on inside of that. Then you write hello world. Now we have run this already and it came, but we want to be sure that everything is running good. Maybe it's by accident that we got the output. So let's try customizing this. I'll change road to road. To road, sorry. Road. Now you come here, you see analyzing. The filming code analysis. After that, it checks for you. And when you go there, you see no problems found. So in case you are typing and you made a mistake, let's say hello. You see that uh, it has been underlined with a green line. You go there and they say one typo. Typo is a mistake. You go to typo or you come here and you will get it. Typo. Typo is, uh, let's say, a spelling error or something like that. Typo in word ruler. Okay, <laughs> ruler. So it's asking you to replace it with some suggestions. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's it here. So you want us maybe we wanted to spell royal and we said ruler. It doesn't make sense, so we should replace it. But we will just stick with that. Okay. In fact, the name rule is in english so i accept it as what well, it input after that you go to the run button you click on that you choose run main kit wait for it to you see build there build when it is done build, when it's done building we we'll see the output in the console For the compiling risk consult, we wait for that. There we go, finished. So, hello, row, and it moves down. It is because of my phone site, it automatically moves down to make space for the others to come. And so, you can see hello, row over here. Okay, hello, row over here, which is everything is working perfectly we have just they have just started the real work the real coding has begun the real coding has begun and it is very important we do this okay it's very important we do this now it is time for you to make a decision whether to continue or discontinue with the training you cannot leave this. Where we've got into, if you leave, <laughs> uh, you lose a lot. Because in the next few uh, lessons, we are going to develop our first app. Did you hear me right? I said we are going to develop our first app. So you cannot choose to miss this. No. It is now, it is time for you to make the decision and make it right. You know what? You know what you're supposed to do? Perfect. If there is any change with this, even though well explained, you could DM me. Don't forget, I leave my link inside of the description. Just click on that. DM me. If you are interested in website and development, you say web dev. If you are interested in Apple app development, you say app dev. And we'll take it from there. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There is more to come. There is more to come, and we have just begun the thrilling journey of app development. Congratulations once again. Your friends started and they couldn't end. They couldn't got anywhere. You are here. You've gone so far. We say bravo. Bravo. In fact, bravo. Let's make the next lessons as you make your decision. Bye-bye.